Hi guys, Nick Miller here from Mark Supply Company. Today we have for you a 1987 Dresser TD7 uh, G. No, I'm e. sorry, E. E is an Edward. Um, this machine belongs to our local guy, a friend of ours, neighbor. Uh, he bought this new in 1987 from State Equipment. There's 3,532 hours. Here's what the story is. First and third gear are completely strong. Second gear is slipping to the point it doesn't even want to go in it anymore. So it, you are buying that way, but you'll probably never find as nice a TD7E uh, on the market like this anywhere. Uh, I have a TD8, uh, TD80, and I love the, the International Dresser Dozers. Uh, they're a fast machine. They really do push. But he ordered this in new. This will have a 24-inch um, pad, single bar grouser. He had put a new Burko undercarriage on it. How long ago, Dave? About three years ago. About three years ago, this undercarriage is put on, and it's a strong 85% all the way around. We'll get you a close up here of the sprockets. Idlers. The chain is unreal. I mean, it, it's very, very good minimal wear whatsoever on it. But it is an LGP, which gives it a 9 foot, 1.5 inch wide front blade. He has put new cutting edge on the front, I would say, at the same time the undercarriage. Same time the undercarriage was put on. Um, blades in excellent shape. There's one dent here I've seen. That doesn't hurt anything, but I tell you what, it's probably one of the nicest international dresser blades I've ever seen in my life. It's very nice and straight. Take a look back here. You can see it still has all the shims in it. My old dozer is clear to the point they've welded this fast, but it has all the factory shims still in it. It's very nice and tight. There's no cylinder leaks or anything like that we found. Uh, there's no welds or brakes or anything like that. Uh, it does have work lights on it, and the sheet metal is all there. All the panels are there. This thing was kept inside up until you moved up here full-time three years ago, three and a half. Two years. Two years. And the owner is here with us. Um, come on around. You can get a, a side shot here of this undercarriage. Rops is nice and straight. Rear hitch is on the back. Back grill guards in it in factory. I'm going to take you up top here so you can take a look in the operator station. Walk up front and we'll just jump on. <clears throat> this would have a D239 engine in it. Four cylinder, naturally aspirated. This is a lever steer machine. And dresser uses a de-throttleizer right here. All the gauges are nice and straight. Stuff still has the factory cover here. And again, three-speed power shift. We we'll turn the camera back over. I'll fire this thing up. We'll run it around a little bit here, so you can kind of get a feel what what it is.
hope you can see here from the video machine starts, runs, and works. Second gear is is very weak. Uh, in forward, it's actually clear out. Uh, you're buying it that way. If you have any questions, you can get in touch with me, Nick Miller, or Dave. I can give you his phone number. That's not a problem whatsoever. Uh, if you want to come see it yourself in person, we have nothing to hide. And I feel Dave's priced it in a manner that the machine itself is in such nice condition, the guy can afford to fix it. Uh, again, if you need help with shipping, let us know. We'll be glad to help you out there. Check out our website. We'll have over probably 35 photos of it on there, www.marksupplyco.com. See it on Tractor House, Machinery Trader on eBay at Mark Supply 88. Uh, it's located right here next door to us at 18563 Bun Mountain Road, Saxton, Pennsylvania, 16678. I'm Nick Meller, 814-658-3066. Thanks for checking out Mark Supply Company. Have a good day.